understand the limitations of the electoral arena. They're very, very strong limitations. We will not be voting our way to freedom. It's not going to happen. But there's a lot of things we can do inside this arena to bring some relief to our people and to raise political revolutionary consciousness in the process. You know, every time, even if I do constituent services for our people, and this is like basic things, save them from losing their homes, getting them jobs, making sure a landlord is not disrespecting them, making sure that the local stuff that's going on, that we have access in our office to help them. Even when we do that, we also say, now that we've done all of that, because they say, Charles, you know, I know you're a black radical and you're in the sixties and you're talking revolution, but you're gonna give me a job? And I can say, yeah, I brought in 6,000 jobs to the neighborhood. Now you're gonna be a revolutionary? Now that I got you a job? Oh yeah, Charles, you know, yeah, you're revolutionary, but uh, you're gonna save my house? Yes, we saved over a hundred houses who were in foreclosure. You're gonna be revolutionary now? <laughs> hey, Charles, I need some food on my table. Y'all talking revolution, I gotta eat. Yeah, well, I, I funded thousands of dollars for food pantries in the district. I can show you where to go to get the food. Now you're gonna be a revolutionary? We have to connect. That's what's so powerful about the Black Panther Party. They connected the needs of the people, meeting the needs of the people, over 60 programs, free breakfast, free health care, all kinds of stuff. But they also had the revolutionary ideology to raise the consciousness of our people.